Hi, my name's Gaz, the Mini Painting Punk, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started playing Warcry for less than the price of a AAA video game. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, it'll come as absolutely no surprise to hear that I love Warcry. I genuinely think it's the best game that Games Workshop have produced outside the main series since Blood Bowl. Fight me. In Warcry. Because of this, I want as many people out there to love Warcry too. But getting into a new game system, especially one from Games Workshop, can be expensive. The starter set, the current one, Catacombs, that retails for around £100 from third party retailers, £125 direct from Games Workshop. Now, if you're already into Age of Sigmar, getting into Warcry is super easy. You've probably already got a decent warband in your army. And all you need is the core rulebook and the rules for the models that you want to play with. Better yet, if you have a friend who's into Warcry, they've probably got everything you'll need to play. And they will probably set up a WhatsApp group just to constantly bug you into playing it. Well, of course I know him. He's me. But what if you don't have any of those things? What if you're brand new to the hobby or you play a different system and don't have access to any Age of Sigmar models? Are the starter sets the only way to get into Warcry? Well, there's actually a few ways to go about getting into Warcry. You can get the core rulebook on its own for around the 20 to 25 pound mark from third party retailers. This and some of the Age of Sigmar boxes and the Warcry Warband boxes are great ways to get started into Warcry. But by the time you've got them and the appropriate faction rulebooks for the rules for your Warband, you're probably coming close to that 100 pound mark anyway. But there is a way you can get started playing Warcry with two warbands, all the models, all the rules, dice, range rulers, even a battle mat and terrain for less than £50. And that is thanks to the new Age of Sigmar starter sets. This is the Warrior starter set, the cheapest one. It comes in at around about the £25 range from third party retailers. And with this, you can make your own DIY Warcry starter set with just this and some free rules that Games Workshop have released online. Let's take a look. The Warrior starter set contains everything you need to get started playing Age of Sigmar and thanks to the free rules they've released online which I've linked in the description they actually contain enough models to make two Warcry warbands including leaders and heroes. The Stormcast get five Vindicators including a Vindicator Prime and this awesome Knight Arcanum model. The Cruel Boys get 10 Gut Rippers, including a Gut Ripper boss, this Killer Boss model, and this rather cool little Stab Grot dude. That's enough models for your two warbands with some guys left over. The set comes with range rulers, dice, and it even has a double sided battle map that's the exact same size as a Warcry board. So as long as you've got this set and the core rulebook, you're good to start playing Warcry. You may need a couple of extra dice, so just start raiding those Monopoly boxes in the cupboard. The one thing that's going to be missing from your game now is terrain. The Warcry starter sets come with some awesome dynamic terrain to battle over. The insert from the Warrior box can be turned upside down and used as a terrain feature. You could just plunk that down in the middle of the battlefield and start fighting over that, but that doesn't seem very Warcry to me. If you use just a little bit of creativity and some super cheap materials, we can make some dynamic terrain of our own. Now, there are loads of ways you can do this. What I did was first cut out this big square from the center of the box, cutting out an extra centimeter each side of the square. I then cut squares out of the corners and then scored the edges, which just allowed me to make a really simple stone platform. Then I took the rest of the box and just cut it into four differently sized pieces to make some platforms to play on.
I then took those four pieces, glued any loose bits, took my scissors to neaten up the edges, cut some little nicks here and there to add a little bit of texture to those edges and simulate the look of crumbling ruins. Now things are starting to look a lot more Warcry. One of the cool things in the Warcry starter sets though are these walkways and stairs you can use to get up to and bridge across different pieces of terrain. This is where the coffee stirrers come in. This is the only additional purchase I made for this video. These were from Asta. I think they're about a pound. You get loads in there. They are an essential modeling tool if you're ever going to be building your own terrain. This is a super simple build. I just glued some pieces together to make some simple walkways and some super simple stairs to use in the game. And there we have it, that's our DIY Warcry starter set for less than £50. Now the warbands in here probably aren't optimal, but neither are the warbands you get in the normal starter sets anyway, so you're probably going to want to add some different models to them as you go get some more terrain, make some more terrain and enjoy playing Warcry as much as I do hopefully. Linked in the description below are links to Element Games where you can get these products. If you buy them using those links then this channel will get a teeny kickback which is really helpful in helping me to carry on making these. If you did enjoy this video please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, goodbye.